Alright, there's gonna be three things. Um pitch bending, MIDI clips, pitch bending, audio clips, and making it so you can play audio clips in the MIDI MIDI keyboard. So first I'm gonna do pitch bending MIDI or MIDI clips. So say I'll just get a drum rack. I'll take a sound, so that'll work. Draw in a sound. There we go. And so you have that, you gotta click this little E down at the corner. And then what I usually do is um put a automation clicky thing right there and right there just so you can have your original values and okay so say I want the second one to go up and I want the last one to go down and actually a better way to do this would start in the middle so you have the center point All right, there you go And that's that. And then the next way to do it is to take a impulse, or no, simpler, drag that in, and drag the sound into it. Then you can play it on the piano. Um, a little thing you're gonna want to make sure to do is um, turn your volume. Um, your thingy right here all the way up to zero decibels just so in the mix down it'll sound a little better so that's that and then the last thing is um oh yeah pitch bending audio clips and then da, 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 da. it's an audio clip I can do <laughs> there you go. Uh, this is a good one. So basically, just drag that in, double click it, and then you're gonna want to make sure that you know this little E is clicked. Click on transpose, and make sure to have your center points. And right here, you can zoom in. See when I drag it up on, it'll snap. It won't just. You won't be able to go 0.5 steps, which is nice. You can just go up one step, two steps, three steps. So. 12 steps is an octave. So right there, whatever. So you don't have to worry about too much too much about leaving your original. That sounds weird. <laughs> yep, but like that, so I can just do some crazy stuff here. Make it sound awesome. Here we go. That sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> and that's it.